Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to another day of daily prayer. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you have you have joined me today and together today we are going to pray and intercede on your behalf and you will see change because God is faithful to keep his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, go ahead and get your Bibles out today for another day of daily prayer and turn over to Proverbs 23 verse 6 and 7. Amen. And while you're doing that, again, I just want to say welcome. Today is your day for a miracle. I just believe that God is going to break some chains off of your life and you are going to enter into that promised land, that thing that God has promised you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus, our faith is not, our hope is not in this world. Our hope is and faith is in God. Amen. Come on. Let's transition now. Let's transition how we think. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Yes, we want to focus on those things above and not those things beneath. In Jesus' name, we want to focus where Christ dwells, where he sits. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read Proverbs 6. It says, eat thou not the bread. Of him that has an evil eye. And now just listen. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. Okay that's pretty plain. Verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart. So is he. Eat and drink saith he to thee. But his heart is not with thee. All right. That's where we want to stop at. And what I really want to focus on is that first passage of verse 7. It says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Those are very profound words, saints, because that tells us in this passage, it is definitely a clear um, response or clear explanation of why you know, we need to be aware of, it says, that don't eat the bread of him that has an evil eye. You know, that's, that's someone that's got that, you know, that you can tell their whole tone is of evil. There's something either by the words they speak, you know, something, uh, you know, is giving, you know, you can't necessarily judge a book by its cover, but, you know, you can tell um, the tone, the whole uh, persona the whole atmosphere if it is evil you want to be wary you want to be leery of don't even eat <laughs> it's that's what the bible says you know so you want to make sure you're clear on that and don't even think about desiring any of their any of his meats or food and then uh, it goes on to say that because as he is thinking in his heart so is he so if there's evil in his heart that's that is the actual nature of that person there's evil all right eat and drink says he to thee so the man is telling he says even if he says eat and drink just know he's not with you okay there's no good coming to you out of this and the bible is clear on this but let's focus on this it says for as he thinketh in his heart so is he so we want to be you know so the question is is what are you thinking right what are you thinking about um because what you think can actually has a lot of power right so you want to be you want to be aware of what you're thinking are you thinking fear thoughts all day long are you thinking oh that person hates me all day long are you judging somebody else by their weight by you know are you just you know just examine the thoughts that are going on that's what i'm saying think about what you're thinking about right uh you want to think about uh you want to think about what you're thinking about 
because if it's evil and it's not good, then, you know, you want to change that. And what you can do, the first thing you can start to do is to renew your mind. Romans 12 talks about renewing the mind. And you can renew your mind by the word of God. You can you can actually play a role in that, um, you know, by it, just getting into the word of God. Just taking the word of God and meditating on it. And you also want to eliminate those things out of your life that are actually uh, that are actually um, contributing to to the evil thoughts that you're thinking are you thinking good thoughts or are you thinking evil thoughts that's really the question and if you can uh if you will i just want to quickly um we probably don't have time but let's just uh, quickly take a look at philippians 8 okay philippians 8 says whatsoever things let me just turn over there real quick and i should have had that passage ready but let's see here so philippians verse 8 it says finally my brethren finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things okay so the bible gives us examples of what to think about what is so what is you know what do we think about because it it makes a big deal because you, what you think and your heart are connected as we read in proverbs 23 there is a connection there so you want to think about what you're thinking about and if it's not good then you want to you want to change that because that is the catalyst for a lot of problems it's almost like an open door right to um to uh, that contributes to how you react how you respond how you conduct yourselves as christians and if it's not of according to the word of god if your conduct is not according and in line with the word of god then you have got a problem and that can be resolved because jesus came to set the captives free amen all right holy spirit oh we welcome you here come on saints let's come into prayer yes lord we welcome you here spirit of the living god we ask you holy spirit to come even now lord lord we thank you you said that where there are two or more gathered you are in the midst of us so father we welcome you here spirit of god we welcome you here we call we just call upon you we call upon you jesus and we give glory and praise unto you spirit of god we thank you that you are in the midst of us holy spirit glory to god glory to god we give all praise and glory you are most worthy you are high you are lifted up lord god thank you father and your train fills the temple thank you father god i give we give praise and glory unto you because you deserve it father you deserve all the praise you deserve all the glory all the adoration all the glory all of it father every good thing lord i thank you you've given unto us and we give all praise and glory with our breath and with our lips unto the living god jehovah rapha jehovah Sikinu, Jehovah Nisi, Hallelujah, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, the Lion of Judah. We give glory to you, Jesus. Come on, saints, and praise the Lord. Come on and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Father, we thank you that you give us good things, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. You give us strength, Lord God. God. thank you that you've given us this day lord this is the day that you've made and we will rejoice lord and be glad in it lord ah we give glory to you lord god we ask you to come down lord rend the heavens and come down oh lord we need a fresh touch from
from you today, Father, in the name of your precious son, Jesus. Lord, I just take authority right now over all sickness and disease, and I, I send the word of God, Isaiah 53, 4 through 5, by your wounds, Lord God, they have been healed in the name of Jesus, and we declare healing right now in the name of the Lord. Come on, say, come on, agree. Come on and praise the Lord. Come on and agree with us in prayer. Holy Spirit, touch your people today, Lord. Touch your people, Spirit of God. Touch your people, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to remove these financial burdens, these heavy debts right now that the people are facing. Lord God, I thank you, Lord. I ask you, Lord, you said to give and give unto good measure pressed down shaking together shall they come back lord lord i ask you lord to that you will break that financial burden off the lives of your people in the name of jesus god in jesus name thank you lord jesus that you became poor so that we might become rich in jesus name that's not just necessarily money but i thank you lord that it is i believe it's you if lord god you said it came poor so that we can become rich and we declare that I declare that over my friends and brothers and sisters today over the body of Christ today I declare that in my life in the name of Jesus Lord we cast off that spirit of poverty I break that spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus off of your people today Lord and we ask you for wealth and open abundance today that you would open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing Lord upon your people today that they may now have room enough to receive. Lord, I plead and decree the blood of Jesus over each and every person under the sound of my voice, under the, over their families, over their children as they go to school, Lord. I bless the schools today, Lord. I ask you, Lord, that you would bless those schools, Lord, in the name of Jesus, and that we, we arrest all demands demonic activity near where their children are in Jesus name I decree blessings over their children I ask that you would give them the mind to learn their lessons today Lord in the name of Jesus Lord let your angels of protection go with them and be around them in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you today hallelujah hallelujah Oh, yes, Lord. Lord, let's surround them today. Surround them and bless the works of their hands today. Bless their minds today in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I thank you, Lord. Let your blood be on them. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the holy name of Jesus, I give you praise, Lord. Amen and amen. All right, my brothers and sisters. I'm so glad. I'm so glad glad that you that you are here with us today hallelujah the presence of God is here in such a strong and mighty way I pray his presence will fill your house fill your car fill wherever you are in the name of Jesus may the yokes and chains that have come to bind you be broken we decree that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All right. Now, if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, today is your day. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle of all that ever happened was that God came down in through his son, Jesus, and he purchased and redeemed you. S -s Friend, your sins can keep you out of heaven. There was you, the sins that you were that God saw you were going to commit would cause you and I to go straight to hell without Jesus. And that's a fact and a reality because there is no sin that will enter in. 
but only holiness. And the only person who is holy, who walked the face of this earth, is Jesus Christ. And he came to shed his blood to atone for your sins so that you can be reconciled back unto God and have eternal salvation. Hallelujah. What a joy. What a joy that is. What a joy. Now, I want you to receive Jesus. I want you to take advantage of this purchase of this blood of God that he came and paid for you and shed for you take advantage of it today and repeat after me say dear God I come to you as a sinner and I want to be saved I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior I ask you dear God to forgive me for all my sins that I've ever committed I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. He rose from the dead and is seated at the right hand of God. I confess I am saved. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm just going to pray. Father, I ask that you will fill each and every person that's just received Jesus with the Holy Spirit. Fill them, Lord. Fill them today with the Spirit of God, with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Congratulations. The angels in heaven are rejoicing over you today. If you just received Jesus, now the next thing you need to do is to find a good church home and I know that God has sent people to minister to you the word of God why don't you start with them find a good place that God wants you to go to learn of his word learn of his son learn of the of the kingdom of God and and live the Christian life in Jesus name and it may not be necessarily a church it may be a fellowship but I just pray that God will lead you to the right place all right my dear friends I'm so glad you can be with me again today and I look forward to see, to speaking with you again tomorrow all right have a blessed day amen bye-bye <music>